Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. A little early look here on Alpha Strike, if you will, of a true Alpha. Alpha version 0.1 created in no more than 10 days of a title called Viscera Cleanup Detail. This is by a company called RuneStorm. Their previous title, I say previous considering it came out like two weeks ago, is Rook's Keep. Something I will be looking at at some point because it actually looks kind of interesting. This, on the other hand, a prototype made in 10 days is about playing a space janitor. As you're well aware, of course, having played many games which involve the killing of aliens and the untimely demise of legions of space marines, someone's got to clean up after them, I guess, so that's going to be you in Viscera Cleanup Detail. I'm sorry, when I heard about this, I had to try it. I, I don't even know if it's going to be any good, but I've got to try it, so let's get them up ready. Start to clean up. I am Total Biscuit, age 44, the hygiene technician. The company feels that the recent events and purge of the station must not reflect badly on its reputation. It is required that each and every corner of the facility be cleaned by Friday with no delays, and your conduct in this matter will reflect on your record and decide your continued employment. Alright. This is my space mop, which as you can see is properly simulated. It's very important, I feel, that for the immersion factor of the game, the space mop's ability to swing around like a helicopter is properly simulated, which it is. In fact, I think it might be a little bit too simulated. They may have over-simulated this, quite frankly. So let us clean. Ugh, well, there's bits. Alright. As you can see, my space mop deploys space water, which thankfully is held in place by the gravity plates of this particular... Ooh, can I pick that up? Alright, give, give, give it here. Give it... There we go. What am I going to put it in? Do I have a bucket? I must have a bucket somewhere. I'm trying to go through my various weapons and I'm not finding a bucket. This is terrible. The budget of this place is clearly subpar. Alright, well we should clear up some blood then, shall we? I'm spreading all over the bloody place. This is not helping. This is making things worse. You know, to be fair, there is a reason why I'm not trusted to do the dishes. And this is most likely it. I must find a mop and bucket, clearly. I'm gonna have to clean this damn thing. Otherwise, I'm just gonna make matters worse. Oh. Yeah, you know, you'd think that a space mop would do things better, but apparently not. There must be a bucket somewhere. One has to wonder if at some point you actually end up getting horribly murdered by aliens, but... Ooh, is that a... No, that is not a bucket. That looks like a bucket. Ah, excellent. I found a bucket, but... I do not have the ability... Could I... Aha! Oh, oh dear. I've ruined it. There's no water left in the bucket. <laughs> you know, the simulation level of this game is surprisingly advanced, one has to say. I was hoping maybe I could knock the bucket along and then I could use it along the way, but is there still water in it? Nope. It's, it's all completely empty. Wow. If only they had some proper fluid dynamic simulation in this. It... <laughs> Someone made this in 10 days, if you can actually believe that. That's just insanity. Must be a few more buckets around this place. You know, I have to wonder if this could actually end up being a full title. It, it's, it's a nice toy right now. It's like Surgeon Simulator. And then, I know, a lot, I know, I know, a lot of people are going to turn around and tell me, Surgeon Simulator is brilliant, what are you talking about? No, it isn't, it's bad. Surgeon Simulator was meant to be a joke, and then a bunch of people took it too seriously, as they have a tendency to do. That's one of those gimmick toy games. So it's like Soda Drinker Pro and stuff like that. That's exactly what you would expect. I need more buckets. And I need a, something to put this stuff in. I wonder, I mean, I could probably just toss it in a biohazard bucket. That would probably be okay. I have no idea if this game actually scores you for any of this, but I'm currently making matters a lot worse. If I recall correctly, there was a biohazard bucket around here somewhere. It's a funny little proof of concept, isn't it? And surprisingly well executed, considering. I, I could actually see the fun value in it. I really could, especially if the if they made a full version of it. It was say designed. Could I, uh, just there you go. See, it's fine. No, oh, no. Apparently, it's not fine. Ah! <laughs> uh. In space, no one can hear you clean. There we go. get off. I'm don't think. Am I tall enough? There we go. Rude boy, is you tall enough to put these, these pieces of stuff in the biohazard bucket? Yes, I'm sure, uh, sure I am. Ah! <laughs> I have a feeling the physics are going slightly out of whack now. 
And is it is it the kind of game that people would actually play? And if they would, what would the objectives be? Uh, what would be the point if they made this into a full title? Most likely speedrunning, I would imagine. Trying to clean up an area in the fastest time possible. Perhaps there would be hazards. Perhaps there would actually be, like, the occasional enemy. Maybe, like, the runtiest enemies that were just kind of left after the massacre. And then you have to fight them off with your mop or something along those lines. And then you have to clean up the mess that they made. Or maybe even you could have friendlies who would track the blood around the place if... <laughs> That's quite amusing. You could have friendlies that would track the blood around the place and you weren't allowed to actually attack them. And then maybe halfway through the game you go completely postal. This is not helping anything. I'm making a horrible mess of this. Whee! You know what would be great as well as if that fluid actually went everywhere when I spin this bloody thing around? That would be kind of great. In a strange way. As far as I'm aware there aren't any more controls. There's just the kind of pick up and the mop everything that going on which is... Amusing to say the least. That looks like a space marine torso. Perhaps halfway through the game, you go postal and start slaughtering the remaining space marines and just general logistical staff on the space station. Very much a case of. This is not helping, is it? <laughs> Very much a case of John, you are the demons kind of thing. You know, I, I do genuinely think this could actually go a full game. This is like the extent of it, by the way. This is obviously a very early alpha, so they, they built a few rooms and the concept is there and the idea of washing your thing in water. Probably want to actually restart it so that I can actually use the water. There we go. Because otherwise things are not going to go well. And the notion that if you clean too much with the space mop, then all it does is get blood everywhere. It's, it's actually kind of a cool idea. I mean, Dust Force was a cool idea. That was about cleaning up. That worked pretty well. The notion of Dust Force was quite simply that you had to clean the entire level. You had to do it very, very fast. You could do a similar thing with this, I feel, if I'm totally honest. And I think it would work pretty well. Would people pay more than a couple of dollars for it? No. Do they have to? Well, probably not. <laughs> Put a level designer in there. Put various different kinds of cleaning. Put maybe occasional minor enemy encounters or having to deal with friendlies tracking blood everywhere. That would be absolutely fantastic. You get a mocap dog in there. Mocap dog could track blood everywhere. It'd be amazing. Absolutely fantastic. If you want to try this alpha out, as amusing as it is for a few minutes, then the link is in the description below this video. But I am very curious to see, as to see whether or not they will actually make this a full game. Because it's a very original idea, certainly. As it stands, is little more than a tech test, but <laughs> it's amusing nonetheless. To be frank, I do want to play. I would prefer to play a simulator about cleaning stuff up than actually cleaning stuff up, but that's because I'm male. That seems to be a default situation. Oh no, it's full of blood now. I've ruined everything. Gives a whole new meaning to I'll paint the walls with your blood, doesn't it? Look at that. It's so happy. Viscera, ladies and gentlemen. We'll probably never see the light of day, but... Oh, whatever. I'll see you next time.